this video I'll be showing you how you can layer music on top of one another using Logic Pro. I'll be showing you how you can create new tracks, how you can mute and solo those tracks, and I'll also show you how you can loop a specific area of a Logic project. So quite a lot to go through, but we'll steadily go through it all. Now I'll be layering quite a lot of tracks um, with a range of different instruments, just so you can see how the whole process works. I'm going to mostly be using the orchestral sounds, um, but the whole concept and idea of what I'm doing is like the same for any instrument sound or, or beat that you want to put in. Um, so I've started off uh, with the piano here. I've set my tempo and metronome just like I showed you how to do in the in the previous two videos. Um, so we're going to just uh, add a bit of piano here. Now I'm going to add something else on top of this. So to do that, I go over to the plus sign to create a new track. And there it is. And I'm going to go for a bit of percussion on this one. And whilst I record the percussion, I'm going to mute the piano that I've recorded so I can focus on this one. So to mute a track, you go up to uh, where you see the M. You can also press M on and off on your keyboard, as long as the track's highlighted. Now the S next to the M means you can solo the track. So that means it will play by itself. Um, you can solo multiple tracks at any one time as well. So for example, later on when I've got multiple string parts going on, um, I could solo that whole string section if I wanted to. Um, the key command for that is S as well. So if you press S, you can turn it on and off. <clears throat> so sometimes it's good to leave the other tracks playing so you can vibe off what's already been put down. Um, but for now, I'm just going to record this next part on its own. Um, I reckon I'll play most things on their own just so you can see how each part sounds by itself. And then you'll see what happens when we put it all together at the end. Now I'm going to add some string parts. Um, I'll start off with some cello. Obviously not as good as the real thing. Um, hopefully I'm not butchering like some of these instruments. Um, so I'm going to go for some full strings next.
give any errors in timing or velocity. I'll actually show you how you can fix some of those things in the next video or two. Um, but for now, we're just going to continue. So the next thing I want to record is with the same instrument, actually, full strings, the same patch. So instead of creating a new track for this one, I'm going to just create a copy. So to do that, I click this button up here. And that essentially just copy and pastes the settings from the previous track onto the new one. So let's record this next thing here. <laughs> 